Inside the Beat and Y100 of iHeartRadio. I'm super excited. How many of you have been waiting for this moment? And I know there are a couple of people that are here this evening that we want to shout out, of course, to the cast, the lovely cast. Wave, just turn around and wave, darling. Wave, darling, just wave. Let them see your fabulous faces and your dresses and your tag, any pictures, any videos. Loving till it hurts. Thank you, Y'all don't make me nervous, man. I'm just so happy that all you guys came out and support us. I am extremely excited you guys came out. I'm overwhelmed. I've been pulled from left to right. There's a lot going on. So I just would like to introduce our brand new writer for season two of Pay Night, Nisi in his house. Nisi Justin, go up to the front. And then of course we have James O'Neill, our cinematographer. No longer I have to hold it to a camera anymore. I can direct. So O'Neill is not here, here right now. So um, definitely uh, we're showing much love to him. And he would love to be here, but unfortunately he has to work. But definitely um, we, you know the beautiful Sandra Justice, of course. And then we have Benji Jacques. For Neil being absent, we are Univisual Productions. Right. So we're going to get into the film. I would like to thank each and every one of you guys again from sponsors. Oh, okay, guys, let's get to it. I'm overwhelmed. But well, first and foremost, did you enjoy that? Did you enjoy it? And for those of you who know the process of this um, this film, it, it it came together beautifully. And for those of you who supported, we thankful we are thankful for you, and we are gracious that you are here celebrating this time for us. So, without further ado, I'm going to introduce to you some of the producers that were part of making this possible. So, please help me welcome Miss Vanessa. Vanessa, are you here? Come on down. Vanessa and Genji. Genji, are you here? Come on down. And of course, Sandra. And um, you know this gentleman very well, Mr. Come on, come on. You know his name? No! Say his name. Say his name. Say his name. No! Come on down. Um, and I think I'll give, I'll hand it over to Sandra to take it away for us. Yes, we have some amazing people here. Um, this event was brought to you by Rock Solid Entertainment. Woo! We have Petty Records. I don't want to lose any names. Um, 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 Roman Surgery, jo Joseph Surgeries, um, Excel Medical, Excel Medical Center. Also, we have um, Barbie Castro. She does a lot of Lifetime movies. You may have seen all her movies Inc. in the house, um, in the mix. MATV, Jason T T V P, um, Behind the Fabric, G W Photography. Please give it up for the lead actress, <laughs> Shantaria Fred. This lady acting is amazing. I know there was a little delay. Okay, what I'm gonna do basically, I'm gonna just have all the cast come in and you guys can introduce yourself. We need the immediate cast, and then we'll, we should call everybody who had anything to do with this first. Thanks, sir. Okay, come on up. First, the cast. And then, of course, everybody else. All right. We'll start with. Oh, break it out. All right. What's your name and the role that you play? Hi. I'm Frank, the nice husband. <laughs> <laughs> Secretary Mia. Yeah. Yeah. Hello, 
Polka Bespalenka, and I'm playing Abused Woman in the future series. Hi, my name is Michael C. big secrets um, so some things cannot be said it is a basically a mini series so you guys just actually witness like two episodes so there's basically four more so that, that basically how that works all right so, if you guys have any questions you know um, we pretty much here before we continue I really got to hone this in because this is amazing for something like this to start up in South Florida a lot of times people go outside of where we are to shoot things, but this was shot homegrown. You have there is a question that I do want to ask um, Lunar before we open it up to to everyone. Why was it important for you to, I guess the word is highlight or or make it known about um, raise more awareness about domestic violence because it it is a problem within the community, and the fact is that there may be somebody in this theater right now. We, we laugh at certain points, you know, it, it, there were things that were funny, but the, the truth of the matter is there is somebody in this room right now, according to st statistics, that could be going through domestic violence. Why was that important for you to highlight that? I truly believe that, that there's somebody in here. Yeah, me, going, me. Going, going, going through it, you know? <laughs> but uh, originally the film started with a, um, uh, an inspiration. Uh, a friend of mine named Maggie Blaz, who has a, a great topic to discuss, and that's when I asked Valerie Parker to basically play um, um, Will's mother because the fact that she's been through that process. Her book is in the film. Like, there's so much like I can't even say about the um, the film, but um, everyone that that is here is is per 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 purposely handpicked, and also they have earned the part pretty much. Apologize for everything that just took place right there. I'm sitting in the hall, I can only listen when I can't watch. And I have and to I, go and outside I'm texting and her, him, he was upset. And I'm like, no, I'm very particular about the things that I do, and they know me, they know my heart. I've shared with my friend Abner, I'm like, yo, I'm burning this DVD, yo, what's going on? So I've spoken to Rob Robert in the back, it's like, yo, so guys, I've lost sleep over this. I've lost clients over this. I've lost friends over this. You guys have no idea what I had to go through the last couple of days. I was telling my kids, I haven't even spoke, spoke, spoken to them for a week. And that never happened. You know, that's how much like sacrifice, a lot of things that we had to do, a lot of uh, the promotions the, uh, with the sponsors, everything that you guys see that, we put, that we're putting on Facebook, it's just about thanking our sponsors. Yeah. So any questions, guys, the floor is open. Florida, we need so much more of that, and I just think it's fabulous. Second of all, as a filmmaker, don't worry about that little sound glitch. We loved it. Yeah. It was fabulous. Okay, shit happened. <laughs> oh, he's beautiful. Wall. It is perfect. The culture. Thank you. Hello, guys. I'm Fisher Nahim from MATV. I just want to say good job. Thank you. So listen, I've been to a lot of premieres all over the place, all over America, and I gotta tell you guys, you're great. If I say you did great, that's what I'm doing. Thank you. Thank you. Listen, everybody, this is a this is a this is a big deal for everybody to collaborate, come together, you know, put the time in, the, the family, everything matters because you guys are the leaders for the next generation. You know what I mean? There's so much here that I'm looking at where. Uh, you guys are inspiring other people 
to maybe do better for each other. You know what I mean? I'm looking at it, and I'm like, okay, this is sad, but how, what's the message, and how can we help our brothers and sisters? Where, you know, how do we get religion into it? How do we get, you know, just common decency out of everything? And Hollywood, California, forget about it. <laughs> Start a whole new Hollywood right here. Yeah. Yeah. I'm working on my Coffee with Khalil Ali in the morning talk show right here in Florida, so this is going to be the mecca for Hollywood. I really support you all. If I can get as many sponsors or for a million dollars for you, you got it. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, thank you. If you feel like that person is being abused, allow that person to open up to you little by little, but you're not going to tell the person that, hey, it's okay. You can leave and come by me. It's not going to happen that way. All you're going to do is push them away even more. So with this, I encourage everybody to continue with them, continue helping them with the movement, because this is changing a lot of lives. You guys might not understand what you guys have gotten into, but now you become the face of the community. And we don't hate you. We just love him a little bit more. Um, this is Moses from My Launch Productions. I just want to say uh, you know, keep going, don't get discouraged. I know it's difficult financially, but you did. And you didn't come this far for him to just leave you right here. Hey, this is Sky. How y'all doing? Y'all some beautiful people here today. I just want to say that was amazing. I didn't expect anything less from that group of people, like my girl Nicole said. Excellent. And all the acting was great, the feeds, the engagement. Um, and I'm excited. I love the way you ended it. I was like mad. <laughs> I was like, they really brought me out here to wait. <laughs> but I'm excited to uh, follow you and see what's going on next and, and, and be a part any way that I can. We love you, um, we support you, and we're so excited for what's going on in South Florida. In the Arctic. It's a long, long story, but we're definitely going to tell you how to catch the other half. I hope you let you guys... Where things was really rough for him. He was going through something. And he made a phone call to me. And um, it didn't sound good. And I do have a spiritual mother that I always contact anytime we go through a situation. And I call her. And right away she said, bring Luna to my house. We're going to catch this thing. I don't care what we got to do. Bring Luna to my house. I brought Luna, and I remember she started praying and lay hand on Luna, and the word just came forth. At that time, Luna was doing graphic design. He, he was in nowhere near videos, cameras, none of those things. And the word came forth, and God spoke to Luna and said, I see cameras, I see productions, I see movies. You're gonna be great. I mean, it was just so amazing. It was so much at that time. I can't even remember half of the things that, that was said that night. All I remember, Luna was just on the floor. And to see it come into fruition, Luna, we love you, and please keep God in your life. Sister, because you didn't wait till that time come. As soon as the word went forth, you just went behind it and just start putting your hands and everything on it. And to see this here, it is amazing. God bless. Thank you very much. It's great to, to know you and see the progress that you've made. Very proud. I have a question uh, concerning, you said it's Q&A, right? Yeah. So Shantaria Franklin. I know, so yes. that is great stuff. Yes, yes, great job. I'd like to know yourself personally. How did you prepare yourself for this role? Uh, were there certain people, you know, that you got around? Were there, was there any kind of, uh, you know, things that you did that would help support you to be able to deliver in the role? Actually, I never experienced domestic um, abuse. But I do have family members, as well as friends, who experienced it, as well as I did a lot of research. So I pulled from their energy because I say when they see me on the screen, I don't want them to see me, but I want them to see themselves. I want them to see the woman that has been abused. Yeah. 
So that's what I pull. I pull from their energy and not mine. And in regards to what she's saying, um, I know one, one of the things for sure, Shantaria has been with us since um, Hostage, and that's when I saw her. Actually, when I wrote Love Until It Hurts, you know, and I had her in mind for the lead, because I saw she perform in Hostage, which Hostage was a totally different type of character. She played the character where she had a pistol, and she was rough, you know, but I knew this particular character so different for her and I was like I know we had to mold her shape her everything was slow if you if you watch the film yeah. I had the idea in my head in terms of how the pacing of the film how it's going to go it's a very slow pace type of film so G where is he is he here oh yeah oh, oh yeah fantastic job my African-American community or uh, Minorities, period. You know, we need we need those voices. Uh, we need those stories to shed light. So what's going on in the dark? Uh, Lunar, uh, my brother, I really, really uh, commend you for doing this. And all the other creative people contributed to this. And I want you guys to keep going. And I'm going to share the story with other people. And like I said, keep going. Yes, those voices are my buzz. Okay. So the, Just hold I on. think the most important thing. I appreciate you all. I love, love, love this film. Um, but what I do want to say is that for all of those, uh, Omar, you in another man's bed. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I'm just so excited. This is a positive comment, okay? Can we all agree to do that? Love you all. Hearts of man, what God has in store for you, man. God bless you, man, and I wish you the best. We make me speechless. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for allowing us to be one. We are super excited. This is a big deal. I mean, we aspire to make it to this level one day. And I want to say, Frank, <laughs> you did such a wonderful job. I still feel so we got one minute. I just wanted to say congratulations, and I'm very proud of you. And like some of your friends were saying up there, yes, I keep chipping it away, work it. I work it every day. I bust my butt every day. I'm up till four o'clock in the morning. I review my files. I I try to sell my product. It's not easy. And when Lifetime doesn't buy a movie, I'm out all that money and I'm like back to square one and super discouraged and it happens but I wake up the next morning and I keep fighting at it and I keep making it happen. I'm very proud of you. It's really fun and entertaining to watch so congratulations. I'm so glad I'm here. Last but not least. Um, good afternoon. Uh, good evening. My name is Vang Michelle Music. I'm one of the victims also like abuse. Mentally, financially and cheating and everything. So um, I'm, I find myself in that story and I try to do not cry, but now what I do, I just transform everything that I use to make me cry. I make people laugh with it. Yeah. Thank you, thank you. And real quick, we believe in supporting one each other. We have a lot of producers, directors, big ups to you. Thank you for supporting us. Please check out some events. Um, we have Mr. Wrong, the movie by Yanel Iris. We have flyers in the front. They have flyers out there. We have showing on Saturday, November 10th. Uh, it's going to be showing Saturday, November 10th. Get your flyers. We have How to Catch a Cheater. That's Michelle Maggie. Love it to her. That was a test. That was a test, right? <laughs> what? Shut up.
out to Silver Spot. But thank you guys so much for allowing us to house this premiere.